Hey, Coach Megan. Hey. So you know I'm a dad, and in our family, as a parent, we are approaching one of the many transitions we all do in this journey of life. Yes. And in our house, we're getting close to what I feel like is the transition from the crib to the bed. Yeah. We're, we're a little unsure, when, when should this be happening? Right. And what are some things I should be looking out for? All right, so I'm gonna give you some suggestions from me, okay. um, since we've done this three times. So there's not really a specific age to transition. I think all kids are different. So as parents, I don't think you should get set on, oh, they're this age, we mm. have to go to a bed. Um, I know all of our children were around three before we even considered. Awesome. Um, you know, they, they were even old enough to climb out of the of the crib, which they did. They would climb out when they were done. Must be some kids strong kids. Uh, right. So when you make that transition, Pat, for your daughter to go to a big girl bed, some things that you can do are you can actually get her a twin size bed. Some parents like to put the railing so they don't fall mm. over. Or a lot of cribs now can transition. You take the side of the rail off and they're still in their crib, but it's considered a bed. Um, you also need to make sure that you, you know, make it exciting oh you're going to a big girl bed or a big boy bed allow them to pick out some stuffed animals maybe a new blanket or pillows but i think we also need to encourage even though they're in a big girl big boy bed they have to stay in the bed i know right? that's one of the things <laughs> i i am excited about my bed i yeah. always look forward to get into right? it at the end of the day yeah. but i'm definitely nervous going from the crib the nice yeah. enclosure yes to the open bed yep. and if my girl gets up frequently in the middle yeah. of the night, what are some ways that I can help her get in bed, stay in bed, so mom and dad can get some yeah, sleep? Yeah, right. So I would encourage you to keep walking the child back to their room, right? Never give in, because if you, we all know if you give in once, they're gonna keep, so we just it Happens keep, fast. Yes, just you keep walking her back. Maybe you sit next to her bed, maybe mm. you guys read a story, but I would also get into a routine, right? Awesome. A bedtime routine. Another thing that we do, like a little helpful hint, is we have the alarm clock that lights up when they're allowed to come out of their room. That's been a lifesaver for us. Mm -hmm. So if it's blue, they, they know that it's sleep time or awesome. they have to stay in their bed. If it's yellow, they can get up out of their bed, but they have to stay in their room and play. Ooh, I like this. I know, and then green means you can open your door. And that's really worked well for all three of mine. Um, we also like turn it into a game as well. So they, and then they come out of the room, they're like, my light's green, you know? So that also is a routine thing that we've gotten into at a very young age. Yeah. Blue means we're sleeping. Green means we can wake up and come out of our room. Awesome. Definitely gonna be setting the green timer closer yeah. to 1030. <laughs> okay, but right. hey, those are some great strategies. I feel more confident. Parents, give it a try. Let us know how it goes. We'll see you next time. Bye.